Hey guys, for your, today we're going to be installing the Graco Snug Ride 35 Lite LX. I'm Sarah. I am a CPST who reviews car seats to help make your search easier. And this is our install video for the Graco Snug Ride 35 Lite LX. I've already uploaded my review video, so make sure you check that out. This is a rear facing only infant seat. And we're gonna go over all three ways to install it. So I'm going to take the carrier out. I'm going to put it on the ground. Okay. And we have our base. Okay. This is the base that comes with it. It has a recline foot. So that's really handy. It also has this level right here. So for zero plus, I want the blue to be there. For three months plus, I want the blue to be here. But today for um, newborn purposes, because the majority of people who are buying the seat are going to bring their newborn home in it. So I'm going to do the newborn, the zero plus install. Okay. We're not going to fiddle with getting it to the three plus months because it's really not necessary since zero plus can be used from birth. So that being said, I'm going to take my base. I'm going to make sure that my latch is all the way out. This one likes to get stuck. Mm, there we go. All right. So this is a J hook. I don't know if you can see, which is a big con for me. I don't like these. Um, I said in my review video, I do have pretty easy latch in this car. So make sure you can find the latch in your car. But the ones that are kind of like really, you have to like dig for them in the seat. This isn't the easiest thing to install, but you can always do a seatbelt install. Now you're going to take your latch and you're going to make sure it's flat and you're going to run it through these holes right here on the side. Okay, and then put your seat in the seat, and I'm gonna make sure that my level is where I want it before I latch it in. Now it is mm, still moving. All right, so it's good there on recline four in this car. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna clip it. The top is the hard part, not where the opening is, that is the bottom. So you wanna make sure that you have it in right. Okay, then I'm just gonna put some pressure here, not my full body weight, just enough to hold it. And I'm going to pull up with the strap into the inside of the car seat. Now, this is a trick you can use with even convertible seats or forward facing seats or whatever, but you have to move the seat in, like the seat fabric in those. All right, so I have it in. I'm gonna store my fabric underneath, see how it's flat, the whole strap is flat. I'm gonna make sure it doesn't move more than one inch. It does move more than one inch. So this seat's a little tricky to get tight with the latch. That's something to keep in mind, along with it being J-hooks. Okay, so that's maybe not as much of an ease of install, which could be a con for the seat, but we're going to shake it side to side now, just with the sh um, strength of your handshake with your non-dominant hand, front to back, same thing. I'm not putting my whole body weight in it. I'm not worrying about it moving up here. It's, it's supposed to move at the front, just so you know. And that helps with um, the car, car seat taking the crash forces. You don't want it to move more than one inch at the belt path. That is where you check, okay? So it's in, I can get my carrier, snap it in, we're good. If I want to do a seatbelt install, I gotta loosen this a little bit <laughs> to get it out. So again, this one likes to get stuck a little bit when I'm trying to loosen it, so. I don't know if that's every snug ride 35 light LX or just this one, but that's annoying because it's hard to get the latch off if you can't loosen it. So I'm just gonna get to move enough that I can get that off and then I can get this side off once I get that side off. All right, now if I wanna do a seatbelt install, I'm going to take my latches and I'm going to store them right here, okay, in this open area. There's no cover or anything, but I'm going to now run my seatbelt through this hole, across where the latch was laying and through that hole. Now you see your latch is attached by the strap. You don't want to take that strap off. That is to make sure the latch to stay with the seat. You know where they are if you ever want to change the latch um, down the road. Keep them attached to the seat. Okay, so again, we already confirmed that recline four works in my car. I can also try recline three. We'll do this one on recline three. That puts it 
in zero plus still. So we'll leave it there. So I'm going to run my seatbelt through. Make sure there's no twist, which mine did get twisted a little bit. Then I'm going to run it through the other side and then I'm going to buckle it. Now I need to make sure that my lap belt is flat against the seat. So I'm going to hold it in place. Then I'm going to lock my seatbelt. See this? I'm going to pull out slowly. Oh, you heard that. Did you hear that when it clicked? Then I'm going to slowly let it go back in. Then I'm going to tighten it again now that it's locked. Pull, slowly bring the fabric back in. Now I'm going to check it side to side. It's still moving more than one inch, so I want to tighten my lap belt a little bit more. All right. This is not that hard of an install, but it does take patience. There, got it going a little bit more. Side to side, front to back. Now it's not moving more than one inch. It's good. I can get my carrier right here. Click it in. Boop, there. And now see, it has, it's in, we're good. Um, something to save space or if you're traveling or something, like airplanes don't allow you to bring the base on. The bases are not FAA approved. However, the carrier itself is. So you're gonna wanna know how to do the baseless install. So I'm going to just unbuckle it, bring my seatbelt out, take my base out, get my carrier. Also, this is something to save space. Like if you have a very small compact car, this isn't the most compact infant seat. So that's something to keep in mind. And if you have a compact car, it might be a good idea to use this um, baseless in your car instead of buying a spare base. So I'm gonna put my handle down right now so you can see what I'm doing, but it can be in any locked position in the car. This is American belt path, okay? So you're gonna route the street belt through this little thing and this little thing right here. All right, and then you see right here, this is the Spanish side, but it's red right here, and that's your level line, okay? And I have one on my side on the English side, and it says the same thing. It also has pictures of how to install it baseless on the side of the seat in English and Spanish, so that's very helpful. So I'm gonna put it in, try and get my level line level. That is gonna make sure baby stays at the right level. I'm going to slide it through there and there. The shoulder belt doesn't go through, okay? Just the lap belt. Make sure it's flat, mine got a little twisted. Buckle, and then I'm going to lock it again. Just like I did with the seatbelt install. If you have a locking latch plate, you'd be locking it down here. Whether, however, if it just pull up, if it's uh, side to side, check your car manual. That will help you. And then I'm going to pull this tight, get the slack into a little retractor. Now, most modern day cars do have a locking retractor. That is not true of all of them. So make sure if you if yours isn't locking up here, make sure you check your manual to see if you have a locking latch plate, and that may be your problem. All right, so side to side, front to back. I'm gonna tighten it a little bit more. All right, side to side, front to back. All right, making sure it's level. Yep, still level with the ground. There, I just moved it a tiny smidge. So I'm gonna check it again, side to side, front to back. Good, so that is how you do the baseless install. If you need to save space in your car, like you have a compact car, also a trick to save space is to have your handle either here, or here or down here because none of those are taking up space from the back of the seat to the front seat so that's giving you actually like another inch between the front seat and the back of the car car seat if you leave it here now the handle is get, taking down the space between the front seat and your seat so you can use your awning in the car of course but that's just a little trick if you have a um a tighter car okay like i said it can be in any lock position and that is how to do the basis install. Also, if you are flying, you can do basis install on the plane. You can do basis install um, at your destination and you just don't have to bring your base. And that's handy. And this clicks right into your stroller. Um, or can click right into your stroller if you have the right stroller. Make sure you check out my review video to see my pros and cons on this seat. Uh, check out my Instagram for all, another list of pros and cons. Also safety tips. Uh, at the car safe kids like this video subscribe and stay tuned for more car seat info and i'm just gonna bye
install it. There we go. This is the Graco Snug Ride 35 Light LX.